Hello, we are the Yulberg family, your missionaries to Tariha, Bolivia. We just wanted to give you a quick update on what's been going on with us. Uh, just like the rest of you, we have struggled with uh, COVID-19. Uh, that's been a worldwide, worldwide phenomenon here. Um, it's been a struggle here in Bolivia. We're a little bit behind you all. Um, what's going on with you? Uh, we'll get a few months later. So we're kind of in the height of, of the cases right now. And um, we've been under home quarantine now for, I believe, 128 days. Um, the Lord's been good and, and we've, we've been doing well um, despite the virus. Um, we're in, in good health and um, our, our, our pastors and our church members here that we know are, are all in good health. So praise the Lord for that. Ministry has also been a little bit tricky for us. Um, we can't meet in, for church or anything like that. And so we've been having Zoom meetings, which took us a while to get started. Um, a lot of the people here, just technology is a little bit behind. And so in order to get Zoom going and have people come to the meetings was, was tricky at first. And then even with that, the people buy their megas per day here in order to have internet um, capabilities. And so a lot of them don't have enough megas or can't afford the megas to be able to come to the services. So it's really hard to minister to everybody in this way, but it's the way that God has given us for now. And so we take advantage of that. Another way that we've been able to minister is by delivering food to the people. Um, it's It's been really hard on them because they are out of work. They can't go to work. And so for them, they live literally day to day. And so to not have any income for four months is really a struggle for them. So with a lot of the money that people have graciously donated, we've been able to buy um, food almost every couple of weeks for all, all the families in our ministry. And what a huge blessing it is for them to have that. And so that's been another way that we've been able to minister. We have even seen some new people come to our church through this that are just struggling to understand the whys and understand you know, what's God's purpose in this and are seeking the things of God. And so it's been an open door in, in many ways for us to be able to share more. Um, one thing that you all could pray for that we'd appreciate very much, uh, we are in the middle right now of um, the paperwork for our permanent residency here. Uh, we celebrated three years in Bolivia on July 11th. And um, once we completed our three years, then we could apply for that. It's a little bit more difficult, obviously, with, with everything that's going on. The government offices are open only in the mornings. Um, everybody's out in the, in the banks and the government offices in the mornings, and so the lines are bigger. Um, but Lord, the Lord has been good to us. We were able to get out last week and get quite a bit done. Um, this week, we're waiting on some papers that had to be legalized up in our uh, capital of La Paz. And so we're waiting on those to come back. And once those are back, uh, Lord willing, we're going to be able to turn everything in and, and um, have our permanency or our permanent residency. And so that'll be a, a huge blessing to us uh, to be able to come and go as we please here from Bolivia and to know that um, we're actually residents, not just uh, here on a, on a temporary visa. Another thing that has changed is our furlough plans. As many of you know, we had plans to be home about this time after being here for three years. And with the the pandemic, that's not possible. They, the country is closed right now to any flights going in or coming, going out or coming in. And so that we, we can't even get out of the country right now if we wanted to. Um, so that's been difficult. It's been a struggle a little bit. We make our plans, but God's plans are always better than ours. And so it's been just a challenge for us, but at the same time, it's it's teaching us to trust in him more because his ways are better than ours. And so we don't have any plans right now for furlough. We probably won't be able to make them until we know for sure that they're opening the country. It seems like every time we think there's a light at the end of the tunnel, they, they extend it more and more. So we're just kind of in a waiting game right now to see when we can get home. We're tentatively planning maybe February to be home for um, four to six months in so we leave it in the hands of God who knows best. We want to say thank you very much for your support. Thank you for praying for us. Um, without you, our ministry wouldn't be possible. And so we, we appreciate their, that very much from the bottom of our hearts. Um, we, we think often of the churches and the people that support us. And um, we're very, very grateful for allowing us, you allowing us to have the ministry that we do have here. So we want to say thank you. We love you. We miss you. And uh, Lord willing, we'll see you soon. God bless you. Bye. Bye.